What's going on guys, the Inhuman Beatdown, I'm back with more Tales from the Borderlands. Last time we finished up episode 3, shit hit the fan by figuring out Gordas is a robot, uh, Athena joined us, and then we met Valerie and she tried to kill us, and then she captured Athena with the help of Brick and Mordecai, and that's where things start out now. Sh shit deep in fuck. Episode 4, let's keep playing Bravo. Uh, I don't have much else to go on with that, I guess. Let's do this! Alright, I actually forgot that he kind of gives, like, a synopsis beforehand. So, okay, let's... The darkest moment in any hero's tale usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. Yeah, you don't fucking say. Our unlikely heroes have discovered the unfinished, top-secret project of the doomed Atlas Corporation. The Gortis Robot. Searching for the robot's missing components gave the former middle manager the chance to quietly reach an accord with the demented ghost of Hyperion past. The dream of the vault seemed closer than ever. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare, and this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy wastes of the borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. Then this shit really they went downhill. Piece of the Gortis robot, as well as the last surviving man on the gladiator's murder bucket list. Murder as bucket she prepared list. to take revenge, I made a vow. the con artist intervened. <laughs> That was the moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salary man were forced to surrender. Now, they were working for Valerie, and their first job was likely to be their last. I like where this is going. Wow, where the hell are we? All right, we're still on Pandora, because those are skags. We should find shelter. Looks like we're in for some showers. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's... Let's do that. Can't wait. Are you thinking? It looks like you're... you're thinking. That suit he's wearing... It looks familiar, but I... I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. This endless march down memory lane. There's gotta be a reason. Maybe he wants a vault. He wants a vault. Why else would he be collecting Gordas pieces? He's just like every idiot on Pandora looking to strike it rich. Aren't, uh, aren't you kind of, you know, vault hunting now? Are you calling me an idiot? No. Yeah, that's what I did there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, or yes. I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose it. Yes, I don't know. What's he gonna do, huh? Shoot us both? How about don't do anything stupid? I seriously doubt that. Don't be stupid. He has a gun. So? He clearly needs us for something. If he wanted to shoot us, he already would have. I think all those shots to the head are taking their toll. That hasn't helped. I'm making a break for it. And you should too. Remember, Zigzag, when you run, okay? It uh, makes you harder to hit. That sounds stupid. It's not stupid, it's <laughs> genius. All right, going on three. One, two. Fuck it. Three, go! Race, you idiot. Whoa! Right. Quick time events. Forgot that was a thing in this game. <laughs> that was close. It was, wasn't it? 
What's that? This again. Clearly, I can't trust you two, so... You just gave away Gordas. She was taken. And you were stuck under Valerie's gun. It was a rocket launcher, okay? It was massive. Even for her. Oh yeah, that's right, she was... She just kind of threw it at me and I was stuck. Vaughn? Vaughn! Shut up. Hey! Stop it! Please! Not so rough. Yes, ma'am. Is that... Oh, no, that that's Sorry, that guy. Sorry, boss. The nerd is gone. Some old dude with crazy hair ran off with him. That's okay. We've got what's important. There, there, little one. No need to be upset. I'll answer your questions. Please, just promise that you won't hurt anyone. Of course, dear. I don't want to hurt anyone that's being co-opted. Don't, don't fucking trust don't her. Don't trust her, Gordas. Oh, don't listen to her. She's just being sore. Besides, if you don't tell me, I have to start hurting people again. And you don't want that, do you? No! Now, tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The, the Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe, only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios, I can summon the vault and hold it here. Then you collect treasure or something. What does the beacon look like? Oh, come on. Seriously, someone has to call right as I'm getting into this? I'll be back. Okay, and I'm back. So let's continue. I... I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. That's what happened with the last piece. Well. That's some exciting news. Thank you, Gorgeous. I don't like her. You're... You're welcome. Can I get away from you now? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, Fiona. Just so angry. <sighs> Is this about Athena? Maybe. You're feeling you guilty. That's what Leave her alone! You can't blame yourself. Athena made her own bed. Where did they take Athena? It seems Lilith and the Crimson Raiders have some questions for her. Involving for a pre-sequel of sorts. Of things she has to answer for. Now listen up. Under <clears throat> normal circumstances, <clears throat> your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. But these are not normal circumstances. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. I don't like where this is going. What do you say? And I'll give you a hint. The only right answer is yes. You don't buy any of this bullshit, Fiona. This is not a negotiation. Fine. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll get you the piece. Oh, come on. Well, that's just lovely. And here I thought I was going to have to stab someone. <clears throat> Son. Yeah? Be a dear and help them come up with a plan. Wait, that's her son? Yes, ma'am. Let's get cracking. Well. Okay. Loaderbot's still missing his legs, unfortunately. I'm telling you, it's not possible. We can't do this. That's not an option. Neither is getting ourselves killed. One way or another, we're gonna figure out how to pull this off. <sighs> okay, let's start with how we're gonna get there. <sighs> well, everybody just calm down. The last time we've had Everyone to get calm we'll, down, okay? We'll Thank you. All right, guys, it boils down to this. Somehow we've got to get to Helios, infiltrate Hyperion, and steal Gordas's vault beacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. <clears throat> Sorry. Without getting ourselves killed. No shit, moron. I just said that like 30 seconds ago. I wasn't here 30 seconds ago. We have to do. We're just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, okay. 
If you stop being so negative, maybe we oh, good come job. down there, buddy. That'll the teach you to hit the taco do, truck. Right now, I don't see how that's gonna <sighs> wow, you we'll got the magic, together, kid. They should and bottle the so stuff. Call it weak wrong. sauce. And that's why we have to drill down no, no, I'm sure there's... Fuck it, I need your help. In there somewhere. Oh, we just, just gotta keep looking. The one forcing us to go on a Actually, I mission. could use your help. Yeah, of course you could. Great. Real helpful. Is that a yes or no? What? You I think old Jack would leave his meat buddy is, hanging? We don't have a choice. I Valerie's kinda got honestly into don't know how to answer that. <laughs> you don't think I know so listen, maybe I hate to be the bearer of good news here, but okay, if there's one, one thing that you know we about me, go. it's that I'm a collector of my rival's top secret projects. What's your solution, That's then? why I'm gonna share this juicy little tidbit with you. Once upon a time, a few of my guys borrowed an Atlas shipment that contained parts for one of their top secret projects. Let me guess, the beacon. You got the beacon. And about a zillion other Atlas gizmos too. That's the best tech in town right there. Especially their freaking guns. Oh man, I got, I got this one with a fist attachment so you can literally punch someone in the face before you shoot them. Get what I'm saying is this, I got your beacon somewhere in my office. Get in there. And it's mission accomplished, baby. I just don't see how we're gonna do this. You don't get that beacon. You're all as good as dead. You're not helping. Oh, great. Captain Obvious wants to speak. Uh... Uh, I believe I have some information that is relevant to your interests. The beacon is in Handsome Jack's office. You pulled that out of your ass. Well, check it out, smart guy. Run it by Gordis. Fine. Hey, put the little robot on. Listen, you got access to a map of Helios? I do! See if you can focus your scan for the beacon in Handsome Jack's old office. Beacon detected! We got a winner! I'm sending Reed the location data now! Ah, it's like a magic or something. Well, let's see what we have here. Enhance? Oh, so you can say it. You're shitting me. I wouldn't know how. <laughs> the whole sector must be crawling with guards. Hey, give me one reason why you think we could possibly break in. Man, how many people you got to kill to get an office like that? <laughs> and some Jack Tor. And I think. That I get that you're scared. Hey, I am too. But working together, I think we have a shot. Great. Sign me up. I don't know how we're gonna get through this. Teamwork. Carefully. That's how. Then you better have a damn good plan. Oh. It's killer. Behold! Helios! Okay. <laughs> Enter Ocean's you know Eleven plan. That? Oh, well, Helios is in space, so we need a spaceship, obviously. Well, we don't exactly have one lying around. Hey, what about Scooter? He said we could call him anytime. Well, you got yourself a rocket man, miss. <laughs> of course. And then it's off to Helios. <laughs> Pandora, we have lift off. Before we dock, I'll tell a vet we've arrived. She'll help us. Why not call her now? Now the less she knows, the safer she is. Yvette, we're back. Awesome, Reese. You're a hero. I'll tell the guards to let you through. Yeah, because the guard's gonna fucking let them through. At ease, soldier. Then I'll disable the security system. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love this game. That'll work. <laughs> That'll work. Fiona, you'll take Sasha and Gordis and go to the hub of heroism. Now, up on Helios, Jack's office is a museum. Hallowed ground. Not even Vasquez had access. Looks like the only sure access is the VIP tour. Meet your new tour guides. From there, we'll get into Jack's office, where I'll- <laughs> hang on. Uh, you'll need me for that, obviously. Once inside, Gordis will ID the piece. Wow! This place is huge! This way, please! And to the I victors go the spoils. Told you. <laughs> Killer plan. Wait a minute. How are you gonna pull any of this off? Hyperion wants you dead. Then I better go as someone else. I don't like where this is going. 
And for the grand finale... Oh, Digistruct of Vast Skies... Ray Skaz, Jack's inside Reese, who's inside but Vasquez. Hyperion's gonna want proof that Reese is dead. We'll use Vasquez's body. They'll never know the difference. This could actually maybe work. So, I guess all that's left is pitching the plan to Valerie. She'll go for it. And getting me to Old Haven. And I'll go to Scooters. Wait a second. This is insane. Hmm? So, how did you figure out the pieces in Jack's office? Fuck, I was hoping this thing come princess. Up. You'll sabotage the whole freaking mission. It just came out of nowhere. Don't do it. Uh, People only make things way worse. Well, it took me a minute to search my memory files, but boom, what do you know? It was right there all along. Huh. Sounds... Technology. Gotta love it. Reese. If there's something you need to get off your chest, we're listening. You gotta admit, it was pretty weird when you passed out after we left the security office. Uh -huh. What we're saying is that even if we could figure out a way to undertake this mission, we need to know you're 100%. Which you're clearly not. We're worried about you. Yeah, it definitely seems like something. Don't worry, up. I'm good. <laughs> you don't need to worry about me, okay? I know Helios like the back of my hand. <laughs> Which one, jerk off? Oh, actually, I was wondering about that. When you take care of business, do you use robo hands or your real one? I'm so glad actually someone asked that, because I asked that back in the first episode. All right, Valerie signed off on the plan. Reese is going with Finch and Kroger. The rest of us are off to Hollow Point to get this thing spacey. Let's get to work. God, I don't like you. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of Tales from the Borderlands. If you've liked this episode, be sure to leave it a like and share it with all of your friends. And to stay up to date with all my latest content, please hit the subscribe button. Now it's time to go back into the story. Hopefully make some good decisions along the way and find out where this wild ride concludes with. So until next time guys, I will catch you all later. Asta.